one of the dormitories in Odessa. This is how the building looks after enemy fire. The Russians attacked the city with missiles and a striking drone. Thanks to Ukrainian air defense, the drone has been following the Russian warship into the Black Sea, but the missile had hit the city. Today, Russian troops launched another missile strike at Odessa, destroyed the dormitory. A 14-year-old boy was killed, a 17-year-old girl was wounded. She has a shrapnel wound. What is it? For what? What did these children and the dormitory threaten the Russian state with? Missile and artillery strikes do not stop in a number of regions – Dnipropetrovsk, Zaporizhia and Luhansk. This is how household buildings in one of the districts of Mykolaiv look after shelling. The enemy shelled Kharkiv five times with artillery and multiple rocket launchers. The enemy is hitting particularly civilian buildings, private houses and residential areas. Once again, the residents of the Khatazar district have been targeted. In addition, North Saltivka. If we talk about the region, it is the city of Chuhuyu, it is Zolchiv district, Bohoduhi district and other districts of the Kharkiv region. The Russians continue their offensive in Izum, Barvinkova and Izum Slovyansk directions. They are trying to occupy new territories in the Kharkiv region. In the Donetsk region, the enemy concentrates its main efforts to take full control of Rubizhna and Papasna. The images of Popasna and Trubizhna will also be very sad, because the Russian army is destroying everything in its path completely. Therefore, the number of shelling only increases, the number of aircraft bombing the towns increases. We have less opportunity to evacuate people, because it is already very difficult to get to Rubizhna and Popasna. Everything is shelled there. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces is confident that the enemy is also planning an offensive on Mykolaiv and Krivy Rih. In order to improve positions before the attack, the Russians are trying to reach the administrative border of the Kherson region. On the South Book direction, the enemy is fighting to improve its tactical position and does not abandon attempts to reach the administrative border of the Kherson region. Continues to deploy missile and artillery units to fire on Ukrainian forces' positions. The relocation of materials from the temporarily occupied Autonomous Republic of Crimea using the Ukrainian railway infrastructure continues. The Russians suffer significant losses on all fronts, both equipment and personnel, while the Ukrainian defense forces in turn are well prepared for any changes in the operational situation. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Valeria Nikipilova, UATV News.